Hey, Burner Nation. A few days ago, we had a Burner owner come to us and ask why we warn users against putting non burner 68 caliber round balls into the magazine. Well, I'm here to show you the reason. This here is the barrel of the Burner. It's cut out. On the left, I have a bunch of our precision molded Burner black rounds. On the right, I have a bunch of random 68 caliber rounds that I ordered online. They're less expensive, but they were advertised as practice rounds uh, that were 68 caliber. So let me show you the problem. When the burner is fired and the round is propelled through the barrel of the burner, our precision molded rounds glide straight through, as they should. Now these inexpensive rounds that I ordered online, oh, they just got stuck. That's right. So I have this barrel that's cut out where I'm able to force the round out. But what happens if you actually shoot these and it gets stuck when the barrel's inside the burner? You're going to have to end up sticking a chopstick or a pen down there to fish it out. So my point is, burner precision molds these 68 caliber balls with QC protocols so that this doesn't happen. If you look closely at these uh, round balls that I purchased online, advertised as training rounds, or even paintball rounds, um, if you have those at home, you'll see that they're not perfectly circular. I'm not sure if you can see. But the point is, they have a high likelihood of getting stuck. By the way, we'll make another video on it, but don't put paintball rounds in here. If they get stuck, or worse, if they break inside the barrel, you've just destroyed uh, your burner. So thanks for watching, Burner Nation. Bye now.